Hello everyone, as we have stable diffusion animate diff with Rave workflow in ComfyUI, we are able to create consistent style animation video. There's always pros and cons for everything, and the downside of that it consume a lots of memory and computer power. But what if I told you we can reach 70% of animate diff with Rave workflow performance with another lightweight version new workflow? by only using animate diff to create animation so we can take care of everyone even you have lower end computing power machine whether you want to create animation for your youtube shorts tiktok video or run it for media advertisement this animation tool can help by using ai before we get started i would like to invite like-minded people to like this content and subscribe our channel if you haven't yet let's start cooking so let's go through the new workflow of this one together and i'm going to try a um, few demos with different ip adapter images and then we can have different styles using the same source videos to play around with this workflow so first we're going to loading our checkpoints going to clip layers and we have few loras by default i'm using the add detail sd 1.5 lora and then i'm using the version 3 animated if adapter lora then pass to the last one is the LCM SD 1.5 LoRa. Now when I'm applying this one, it will be using the LCM loading the sampling method. So in our Casampler, we are using LCM sampling method as well. Then move up to the top, we see IP adapter. And this is a very basic IP adapter for loading one single image because this workflow are focusing on lightweight and loading fast so i'm just using one single ip adapter for one single image and then moving on to next one we are seeing this text prompts negative and positive and also one control net only now in the control net we are using the dw pose only so in the control net model i'm applying the open post model only and this enable us to have the minimalist control net that we need the essential control net that we need to control our animations, characters, movement. And then below that, we have the loading the source videos and we have resize and then pass the resize image frames to empty latent and also pass the image to DW post preprocessor. Then after we finish the control net conditioning, it will load to passing the IP adapters model data to the animated diff loader. Then we will start processing the first sampling step with the animated diff data that we have. So the first sampling, as you can see, we are using the LCM. And then I'm using another second sampling groups here to have latent upscales with 1.5 scale up after first sampling image, latent image. And then we are going to have a little bit enhanced, more detail. And the color is a little bit sharpened than the first sampling groups and as you can see the result here i put it side by side we have totally adopting the styles from the ip adapter now this is heavily relied on the ip adapter image for the style reference our text prompts is usually only setting like the image qualities and very general stuff about how to tell the ai to make it like masterpiece best qualities those text prompts and if the IP adapter image doesn't have some clothing outfit, like uh, the high heel shoes or like the backgrounds, you want to set it as a detailed background. You can do that as well. Uh, because the IP adapter image doesn't have those elements in the image, then we can add those in the text prompt. Yeah, basically this is how we are going to use this very simple basic workflow. And the animations result uh, due comes very close to the rave plus element diff workflow uh, but although obviously it cannot reach to that quality yet but this one is very lightweight very fast leveraging the lcm method also and we do not need to uh, type a lot of text prompt or the truffle prompts because we have the ip adapter to help us to do that so here's another result for the golden dress dancer and as you can see the result is pretty close to the reference image in IP adapter. And I'm waiting for the second sampling here as well. And here we got the second sampling AI videos result. You can see more detail 
uh, the color is sharpened after another sampling. And then I'm going to show you one bad result from this one. Now we don't have the image quality enhancement in this workflow. It's very simple sampling to upscale using the upscale latent by. So if you have a dark image or the light of the backgrounds in the image is not bright enough and you will generate some kind of blurry or dark styles of animations like this one. Now, usually if I'm using this uh, reference image in IP adapter uh, for my previous complete element diff workflow or the Rafe with element diff workflow, it performed really good, really detailed. It shows the candles, everything. But in this one, we are just only rely on using the DW pose. So therefore, it's just able to focus on how the character's movement and the background is not going to be detailed or is not be in a good lightning color. When you're using the dark color themes or styles image, so use a bright image, a clear bright image for the IP adapter is my recommendation for this workflow. Now let me try another one. Uh, here's another good samples for like a bright color, good lightning on the background image that are able to perform goods by only rely on one IP adapter without any custom notes for enhancement. And while we are waiting for the second sampling, I want to go through the process of this again. So the first one in this workflow is the orange color, the checkpoint loaders, and then we have the control net for conditionings. And on the top, we have the IP adapter for the style reference right here we have the model passing the model data to element diff and then we have the source video of course we do have initialize the movement of the videos then we go to the first sampling groups for the first draft animation videos and then lastly we have the second sampling for enhance more detail and latent upscales with the second sampling case sampler now you can add more custom notes after the second sampling. You want to do face swap. You can do that as well to add it behind there. That, that is your options. Now here's after I rearrange it, it is going to be that simple. A very simple, uh, uh, quick way to generate animations with this workflow for videos to another videos and complete styles without having influenced by the source videos characters or the source videos backgrounds. And we have totally different outfit and the backgrounds as well. So by using this workflow, I think the first step is to prepare a good bright and detailed image in your IP adapter for the whole video. Styling is the recommend steps before you get started. Then once you have a good image for styling and you have your source video ready, then you can get started with this workflow and it's pretty easy. So here's the second sampling groups generate result for this showcase example. Now, as you can see, the dress, the flowers, and the windows curtain, everything is following by the IP adapter reference image. I cannot say it's very detailed, but for a very simple process using 2K sampler, we have this kind of result I think is pretty well done already. So uh, here's another example that I'm using a bright color IP adapter image for reference. And again, as you can see the backgrounds of the IP adapter image, we have kind of like a sunshine for the lightning and the body armors of the characters is pretty bright. It's not like a dark color that you are hard to rendering by using LCM sampling method because the sampling method in LCM are fundamentally is a very low step. For each sampling step in LCM, the minimum is like four steps. And mostly for running this, I'm setting like six steps or five steps only. So we cannot have so many enhancement on the color in rendering is pretty much rely on the image quality in IP adapter and also the second groups of sampling to enhance it with more detail by using upscale latent. But then if you have a good image for styling, then of course you will have very good result even in this workflow or the previous complete workflow of uh, anime diff that we did in last month then uh, yeah basically let's wait for this second uh, sampling group uh, to complete and uh, we can continue okay so also one thing worth to mention is that in the first sampling groups i used to set the cfg to two like that is by default the lcm laura's max that you can go for cfg 
And then the anime diff models, I am using the temporal diff version one, and that can create like temporal styles with the consistency of the character's outfit and also the backgrounds. And then the second samplings, I'm just doing like 1.6 CFG settings that basically just boot up a little bit for the uh, details to have sharp colors, everything a little bit sharper to boot it up. Now here's the second result, the second sampling groups result of this animations. Now, as you can see, the face are a little bit improved compared with the first sampling result and the body armors of the characters have a little bit more um, detail. And then you see the source videos compared with that is totally different styles and other people. Uh, this is like an other videos with using the source videos. So yeah, guys can try it. I have my eight gigs, RAM RAMs, um, lower end uh, computers, and I'm able to run this workflow uh, without any problems. So I think this is most of the computer nowadays are able to run this. Uh, as long as you have a video card, a graphic card to run this and you are good to go. So this workflow I'm going to upload in open art because it is pretty easy. I want everyone to try this without hesitations. Consider you have how many gig of VRMs you require to run this. You need like a, a fancy a high end video card. No, just very general video card I think is good enough. So I hope you guys like this. Enjoy. Be more creative because animations or any AI tool doesn't really have only one way to work on. You can work around with your own way. And my workflow is just for you can be just a reference or you can totally uh, switch over to other styles with this workflow. Or you can just deadly following this workflow step by step. But I prefer you guys to be more creative to enhance your videos animations. So hope you guys enjoy this and see you in the next videos.